threes that kind of opened it back up for them. And then the Suns came back again, got it back to a single possession, but the Grizzlies were true at the free throw line to finish it off. Crowder. Oh, the man. Man. Yeah, they just played two traditional bigs, and Jared Jackson Jr. is obviously not a traditional, traditional power forward because he can't shoot the threes. He got over 90 makes this year from outside the arc, but he's very athletic and big. And there that Minnesota's been very stingy in these last 10 games as well. Shabazz Napier, Robert Covington. Covington trying to beat Jackson, can't, but Wiggins is right there. For Finally gives it right back to Teague. He dumps it off. Bonley, no. Battle for the basketball. Last touch by Jay Crowder. Touch it. Comes to tell definitively from that one angle. Anthony Melton, who has worked his way into the rotation in Memphis with some yeah. solid play, finds Jaron Jackson. Well, the NCAA Frozen Four. And the Grizzlies. The Timberwolves basketball on Fox Sports. And one of the things the Wolves have done in this game tonight, they've defended the floater game pretty good. They, they've kind of taken it away, and when they have taken them, Minnesota's made a miss. Josh has missed one there. Jeff Teague does, too. Dylan Brooks. By the way, speaking of donating money, Jim, Matt Dumbo from the Minnesota Wild to tie it with a three or get it back to one with a two. Jackson going for the tie, and we are tied. Deserves another. That last shot by Milton was just on the other side of the, of the rim to go fall in and Covington. I don't know how that thing rattled in. Moran kicks it out. Open look for Jackson. Unbelievable. With the stakes. He'd rather see his team get a stop. Jackson. Well, you gamble at 